doctor, my father has virtually lost the ability to use language. He says very few words, and even those few are incomprehensible. Is there any other way of communicating with him, or is he really unable to understand? Patients retain the ability to resonate with the world around them, meaning to respond to stimuli from the outside world. Even in the most advanced phases of the disease, that can be the case. Um, of course, this isn't through language. It's a channel made up of facial expressions and gestures, uh, tones of voice, not necessarily of words, because the patient can no longer understand the content of language, but they can understand its tone. So whether people are speaking to him in a persuasive, affectionate tone or with irritation, you know, and anger, um, patients can distinguish faces they know from the faces that they don't know. Um, they don't know whether the known face is that of their daughter Daughter, for example, or their wife or their son, they don't know. But they can recognise that they know one face and don't recognise another. Um, they can also respond to tactile stimuli, um, for example, a caress or a cuddle or a touch. In fact, now you mention it, I must say that if he's a bit agitated, lost in a world of his own, for example, when he's pulling his trousers up and down or fiddling with something, and I go to him and stroke him or take his hand, I see that he calms down, at least for as long as I keep on doing it. If I stop, he may start again, but perhaps this is what you were talking about. Well, yeah, th that's exactly right. Uh, patients are still able to perceive things. Um, when relatives interact with the patient through a sensory channel, um, especially a, a, a tactile channel, then the patient responds. His, his or her behaviour will change. Um, if the patient is agitated and somebody strokes or, and cuddles him, then he'll calm down. Um, a few years ago, in fact, a study was carried out in a nursing home in uh, America. Uh, during meals, some patients were stroked and cuddled and others were left to just eat what they could manage to eat alone. And it was proved that the patients who were cuddled, as it were, uh, managed to eat more than the others. So this would confirm some of the observations that you and many other family members make and then report to us in, in everyday life. Ci riportano e fanno nella vita di tutti i giorni.